Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. AUVSI Expo is postponed. Drone Challenge seeks last drone standing. And NASA Langley opens applications for $20,000 UAV competition. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned, in partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. AUVSI Exponential originally scheduled to be held May 4th through the 7th at the Boston Convention and Exhibition Center has been postponed due to the coronavirus. AUVSI hopes to reschedule the event for August 10th through the 12th. However, this could change due to how rapidly the situation around the virus is changing. Brian Nguyen, President and CEO of AUVSI stated, Based on currently available information, and with the best interests of our members, exhibitors, attendees, and the global community in mind, the AUVSI Board of Directors has made the difficult but necessary decision to postpone AUVSI Exponential 2020. Held for the past 47 years, the conference attracts more than 8,500 attendees and 700 exhibitors from around the world. AUVSI has created an email address, expo20updates at auvsi.org, for submitting inquiries about plans to reschedule Exponential 2020. The association staff will respond to questions and concerns about the conference as quickly as possible, and AUVSI will provide updates as information becomes available. Now let's take a quick look at news making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's time for today's Unmanned Minute. Parrot and Survey have launched a partnership through Parrot's SDK program to combine Parrot's ANAFI and ANAFI thermal hardware with Survey software for professional drone use. Through Survey's platform, all data is automatically connected to a map and timeline, and every frame of the video and imagery is geolocated, date and time stamped. As part of the partnership, Parrot ANAFI and ANAFI thermal drone users can submit visible and thermal videos directly to the survey platform for easy access and enhanced footage organization. The global drone services market is poised to experience spend growth of more than $11 billion between 2018 and 2023 at a compound annual growth rate of over 50%. An exponentially rising demand for rotary wing drones for support search and rescue operations is acting as a primary factor driving this double-digit spend growth in the global drone services market. Larry Bowron, the executive director of Battle Creek, Michigan Executive Airport, has big plans for the drone industry at the airport. Bowron is working with Battle Creek Unlimited, a nonprofit economic development agency, to attract large drone manufacturers to the Michigan airport. While the aircraft will be similar to those used by the military, Bowron said the industry is rapidly expanding into civilian uses. A DJI Matrice 210 valued at $26,000 was lost in the Atlantic Ocean during a training exercise last month. The aircraft, which belonged to Pender EMS and Fire, ran out of battery while fighting high winds over the ocean off Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. The aircraft was providing aerial surveillance during an exercise for first responders, who were practicing rescues of stranded swimmers. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. Participants of the First Responder UAS Endurance Challenge, implemented by Capital Consulting Corporation, an Arizona State University research enterprise, will create and build a powerful drone intended to support critical, life-saving missions which push the innovation envelope. The First Responder UAS Endurance Challenge is a competition specifically designed to crowdsource as many inventive drone designs as possible for first responders. The challenge presents a unique opportunity to use ingenuity and hardware build expertise to design a drone prototype that will fly for the longest time possible while carrying a 10-pound load. The competition will award up to $552,000 that not only include the three top best designs that meet program requirements, but also include a variety of best-in-class awards for specific drone capabilities. 
Applications are now being accepted for NASA Langley Safeguard with Autonomous Navigation Demonstration Challenge. The SAN Challenge is an opportunity for small businesses to compete in an autonomous UAV competition for a grand prize of $20,000 under the America Completes Act. The challenge will address some of the safety critical risks associated with flying UAVs in the national airspace system, such as flight outside of approved airspace, unsafe proximity to people or property, and critical system failure. NASA's Langley Safeguard technology will be used to help small business competitors mitigate such risks while they complete a set of complex mission profiles. Safeguard is a verified and validated independent system originally designed to monitor off-the-shelf UAV systems and physically prevent the vehicles from entering no-fly zones or leaving approved airspace. For this competition, it will be configured to warn competitors of impending violations, while also objectively measuring performance with respect to the rules of the competition. The challenge will follow the FAA Part 107 Small Unmanned Aircraft Regulations and will be held in August in Hampton, Virginia. And that wraps up this week's Airborne Unmanned. Don't forget to click subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head over to auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.